In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and edit a blog post. So, first of all, to create a blog post, there are two ways. You can either go New and Post, and or you can go to your dashboard and Post and Add New. And the difference between Pages and Posts are that Pages are usually static in that when you, you can add them to the menu, and you know the content in there doesn't really change. Posts are more um, kind of like a newspaper in that you know it'll be replaced by newer content. So if you are creating a blog, as you know by reading other people's blogs, is that the latest content is at the top. And if you created a blog post five years ago, it's way way back in your site. And probably the only way, unless it's unless you've attached the content to a menu or if you have um, a search bar on your site so people can search for the content, chances are that very few people will see your older content. However, you should over time refresh that content or just or send out through social media and make your content as evergreen as, as you can be. So we're going to create a new post. So add new. And as this is a new site, and I'm presuming that the fact that you're watching this video is that you're creating a new website, is think about your content. Don't just, I know that it's, um, there'll be a, an urge to just get your website up as quickly as possible. Or on the other side is you want to make it as perfect as possible before actually launching it. Please don't do that either. Um, think about your the content that you want, that your blog post, what is going to show you off as an expert in your field. What's going to make your visitors read your blog post and go, she understands me or he. Um, just write a post that you know speaks from your heart and shows your personality. Um, when I first started blog post blogging is it, it probably was a bit clinical. It it didn't really have my personality. It was just, you know, the facts and whatever. But the more I've I've been blogging recently is I'm sort of putting my opinions across and you know, making it all colourful and whatever. And that's one of the reasons that we've installed the Ultimate Tiny MCE plugin, so that you you can make your blog post stand out. You know, we'll we'll talk about adding images later on, um, but right now, just a blog post. So make sure that your title is something that will make your visitors or your Win Win Ideal clients want to click through to your post. And um, how to set up a word. Let's give it the proper title, Word, oops, Press Blog, and let's give it some capitalization. and when you come here, and now you can see that it shows up here, and you can add your content. Now, I'll do another video on featured images. But right now, you, when you're creating your first blog post, you need to think about featured images as well. And in this blog, um, in this theme, there's set featured image. So what the featured image does is that it shows, you know, if you've got a list of blog posts, it'll have like an image just so that it looks visually better. It looks really, really nice. So you can create your set featured image and it won't show up within your post, but when you're setting out your content, it will it will appear. So if you want to know how to do your featured image, then check out the video that accompanies this video. And so what you do is you fill in your content and you can use, as you can see here, is heading one and this will be a heading one or a heading two, I think it is. 
um, and you can change you can add different headings and that's really for SEO purposes as well. You can bold, you can change the color font as well. And if you're copying, if you create your blog post from Word, then what you can do is you can click the W, which is Word, and paste it in here and then insert it. And if it's still, if you insert, if you import content from and it doesn't look right what you do is highlight the entire content and then click the little rubber there and what that will do is it will take off all the formatting so you can then go in and create your own formatting um, and then what you can do is if you want um, if you're on a, a writing craze but you only want to set up a blog post to go out every every week you can come here and see how that says publish immediately you can edit that and you can change the date and the time and you can even um, like I could choose 2011 if, if I wanted to you can change you can change that and then just click OK and publish and if you do it for a future date then what that will do is as soon as it comes to that date it will it will publish it <laughs> amazing eh? And we're going to OK that. And as you can see, there aren't any categories created. I'm going to do another video about categories as well, just setting them up initially. Now, if you come and you've got, you think that doesn't fit into any of the other categories that I've got here, and I don't want to use uncategorized, you can create a new category. You don't have to go back into to categories and create one and then come back. No, you can do it from here. So you can just create a parent category and you can even do sort of like a child category as well if you want. And then you can create tags are like keywords and it's maybe if somebody's searching for your content, they can search through tags. But for the most part, the search engines don't really pay attention to to tags. What they'll do is they'll analyse your page and the content and the words that are on your page and decide for themselves what tag, um, what keyword they will allocate to your page. Um, and with this theme here, we've got theme SEO settings. Your theme may have the same. So what this does is rather than the search engines what they will do is they will take this as your title and the first couple of um, I think it's about 160 characters of your blog post as your description however that might not be you know what you want so what you can do here is you can create a custom title you know so it's like clickable so that you know your visitor if somebody see, searches for it and it does come up you're blog post does come up you you're competing against 10 other sites for somebody to click on you so you want it to be something that you know your when when ideal client is going to click on as well as a juicy description of you know what your content is about and what they'll get out of it you don't really need to put your your keywords in that here either and if for example you've got a hidden page which could be for your download page etc then you want no index, no follow, no archive. And you need to also edit this in your sitemap as well. But for posts, for the majority, you'll want to have it indexed in, by the search engines. And that's really all you need to do to create a blog post. Put your do, 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 featured image and create your blog post here and then click publish and that's all and you can see that as I didn't choose another category it automatically goes into and categorize and you can change that later on as well so that's how you create a blog post and although there's no content here we'll just update it and put some rubbish here and update and then what we're going to do is we are going to view this post. So again, right click your mouse, open new tab. And here we go. You've got date, 
author and leave a comment and you've got your comments here and there's the content here filed under categorize now if you want to edit there are several ways usually um, there is there's not at the bottom but you can edit here or you can edit at the top or what we're going to do here is go to all posts and when it comes up you can edit it here as well and that's basically how you can create and edit a blog post.